Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I usually dedicate my videos to short English lessons, either on grammar or generally language tips. If you don't know me, I'm a native speaker, born and raised in the US, and although I'm a professional singer, and studied singing for my undergrad and graduate school, I've also always taught English as well. So when I first moved to Europe, I worked for a family to help their kids with English in Austria. So I was basically Maria von Trapp. Then I lived in London for two years and now I live in Germany. So many of you are interested in my sort of cultural experiences as an American living abroad or about the difference between the US and the UK in my experience. But a big one is also about US culture in general. So today I thought I'd share with you things that you should know when traveling to the US. And you can let me know if you're interested to hear more about my experiences in the UK or Germany or other places I've traveled to. And before I begin, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for today's video, iFlyTech, a really amazing translation device that could honestly be a game changer when traveling to a different country. You definitely don't need to be tech savvy to use it, which is perfect if you're kind of fed up with all the complicated tech and endless apps out there. Just turn it on and you're good to go. So the iFlyTech company has actually been around for a while, since 1999, and they are really well known in the Asia Pacific region for their AI and intelligent speech technology. So the device can translate up to 60 different languages from 200 countries and regions. One of my favorite features is the instant face-to-face -face translation. The screen actually splits in half and shows the real-time conversation between you and the other person speaking a different language than you. You can also use the click-free translation feature. So if you turn on gesture detection, hold the translator up close to your mouth, speak into it, and then put the device down, showing the translation to the other person. It automatically then records their response and translation. The camera translation is another favorite of mine. Just take a picture and there you go, you get the translation. Plus it stores up to 16 gigabytes of translation history, including the photos you take. You might be thinking, why is this instead of a phone app or Google. First of all, you don't necessarily need internet for this device because there is an offline mode, but you won't even need to use that right away because you get a two year free connectivity plan that comes with the device. After those two years, you can connect via Wi Fi, Bluetooth an eSIM or your own SIM card. Besides that, it has a four microphone sound system and noise canceling algorithm. So this means it listens more clearly and translates more accurately than a smartphone. And the translations are instant. Like it takes less than half a second. So there's no awkward waiting when communicating with someone. It's so easy to use. It's super compact, fits right in your hand or your pocket or fanny pack. So if you wanna check out the iFlyTech translation device, I'll drop the link for that below. And if you end up using it on your upcoming trip to the US or anywhere else, let me know how it was and if you found it helpful as well. Okay, so the first thing to know when traveling to the US is that people will ask you, how are you? And they don't expect a detailed answer. A simple, good, how are you? Or good, and you? suffices and that goes for strangers as well. In a lot of cultures, it may seem weird to ask a stranger how they are because it's more of a personal question. 
but in the US, it's equivalent to saying hi or hello. Another big one to know about is tipping in the US. Tipping culture is significant. In recent years, it seems to have become even more excessive and even unclear to Americans exactly who they're supposed to tip. However, one rule that is clear is that at a restaurant or bar, it's customary to tip 15 to 20%. To some of you, that may seem a little high compared to tipping in your culture, but because servers in the US typically earn below the minimum wage, they therefore rely heavily on tips for their income. So tipping around 20% really is seen as mandatory, unless you're really unhappy with the service. Another thing that might throw you or surprise you in the US is that you will be asked for your ID if you want to drink alcohol at a restaurant or bar, even if you are obviously over the legal drinking age of 21. It may seem kind of ridiculous to be asked for your ID, especially if you're not used to that in your home country, but it's a liability thing for most places, so they're required to ask you. So if you do want to have a drink in the US, make sure to bring your ID. If you plan to drive in the US, you may be surprised to notice that you can turn right on a red light. I know in Germany and the UK and I'm sure other countries, this is not allowed. Of course, in the UK, the equivalent is turning left on a red light, but it is pretty convenient to be able to do so if no one's coming, of course, and useful to know if you'll be driving to avoid someone behind you honking because you're not turning right on a red light. Also, if you're driving in the US, you should know that most gas stations require you to pay before you fill up your car with gas. So you'll insert your credit card into the machine and that allows you to pick up the nozzle and start pumping gas. You don't need to go inside the gas station and pay at the register like Again, I know you have to do a lot in Germany and the UK, for example. Okay, the last thing you should know before visiting the US is about sales tax. A lot of people get confused by this when visiting because you may want to buy something that says it's $20, but when you go to pay, it's actually $22.30. And that's because the sales tax is different in every state. So we add it to the price when you pay. So just be aware that when you see a price tag, you'll also have to pay about 10% of that towards sales tax. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. If you have visited the US, what are some things that you noticed while you were there that others should know? Or if you're from the US, share any of your tips as well. If you're interested in getting the iFlyTech translator for your next visit to the US or your next trip anywhere to help you communicate with the locals. The link is in below and you even get a discount. So check that out. And if you're interested in my video on useful English phrases for traveling, I'll tag that up here. Let me know if you like this video by clicking that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload my next video. See you then. Bye. I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. Saved it. <laughs>